everybody. I haven't done this in a while. This is the big vegan pumpkin fall haul from Trader Joe's. I went yesterday. Now it's like an hour away from me now, but I had to go because hello. So anyway, this is I think my biggest haul. Seriously. So let's get into this. Okay, so we have the autumn maple coffee. I'm actually having that today. I haven't tried it yet, but I love this coffee. And then we have the maple leaf cookies. Also delicious. My husband already got into these. We got into a couple of these already. And then we have, of course, the pumpkin flavored JoJo's. So good. They are really, really sweet, but they're delicious. And then we have, I haven't seen this before. It's the maple agave syrup one. Yum. And then maple syrup because we were out of maple syrup. This is new, the pumpkin gnocchi. This is so good. For some reason, Liv didn't really like it, but maybe be the color. But then again, they really like these. So I don't know. I thought it was good. It's not super pumpkin-y, but I... My husband and I really, really like them. Delicious. And then we have the pumpkin tortilla chips. I know some people don't like these. I like them. I love them with hummus. I just, we like chips. We're a big chip family. So yeah. <laughs> then we have the fall chieta pasta with butternut squash. My kids love these. They don't always stay together. Sometimes they kind of crumble, but like their kids, they don't really care. And they do have really good flavor. My kids, like I said, love these. So I try to get them as much as I can during the fall season. Pumpkin body butter. I knew they were going to sell out of a lot of the stuff. So I picked it up. And then the pumpkin spice hummus is also, I think, really delicious. And then the fall leaves, of course, they're just tortilla chips in the shape of the leaves, but I got two of those. These are great for Thanksgiving. My mom used this for Thanksgiving last year. This is new, the pumpkin chipotle roasting sauce. I'm really excited to use this. This looks absolutely delicious. Then we have the pumpkin spice coffee. They have this every fall. Love this too. And then this was new from last year, the pumpkin spice organic creamy cashew yogurt. My kids love yogurt. So I picked up two of each of the pumpkin, strawberry, and vanilla. Aria really, really loves strawberry and vanilla and Liv just likes yogurt in general. These sell out so fast. These pumpkin rolls, these are so good. Are they healthy? No, but they're delicious. So we got two of those soy sauce because we were out of soy sauce. The pumpkin overnight face mask. I really love this last year. It was so hydrating. I actually used it all up. And then pumpkin spice seasoning, of course, got two of those. We were out of garlic salt, and that's just unacceptable in our house. So we got that apple cider fruit spread, delicious. I actually packed the Liv's lunch of that with vegan cream cheese. And then we have the overnight oats with pumpkin. I usually make these myself, or I buy the mush ones from Costco, but these are delicious. And you know what? I had to get everything pumpkin that was vegan. And then we have the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. This was absolutely delicious and soft and basically delicious. Had that last year. And then two cans of pumpkin pie. Also the non-dairy oat beverage maple. This may be my favorite oat milk that Trader Joe's has. I love oat milk in general, that's just me, but it's so delicious. And then the pumpkin one, it's good, but if you don't like pumpkin, you're not gonna like it. And then this is new. We had some of this last night, the very chocolatey with fudge brownies. It has, it is so good. My husband loves chocolate ice cream. I never really liked chocolate ice cream until I had vegan chocolate ice cream. But yeah, super delicious. And I mean, fudge brownie chunks, yes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make this this weekend, possibly with my mother-in-law, the cinnamon roll blondie pot. Now it doesn't say vegan on it, but you just put, you know, vegan egg replacement and vegan milk and vegan butter. So yeah, it doesn't say vegan, but it is vegan. There's no milk, no eggs, no honey. So instead of the butter, you would use obviously vegan butter. And then instead of eggs, you could use a flaxseed egg or a chia seed egg. You just mix it with water. And or, or you could use, you know, just egg or you could use applesauce. So yeah, just a little tip. Now the pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal, delicious. I already got into this, this is so good. The pumpkin spice granola bark, yum. And it's gluten free, nice. And then I love kombucha, especially this one, because I love like spices, like the fall spices, carrot, turmeric, apple, yum. There you go, the spice at the bottom. My husband hates kombucha, but I love kombucha. And then the harvest chili, yum. And then we have the, this is not like necessarily like just for fall, but I was like, I don't know, give me a fall vibes. Hearty Mindstone soup. And then ginger beer for my husband. I got the brewed ginger beer as well as the, Zero sugar one with extra fresh ginger. He loves like loves ginger beer. And then let's get into the ice creams. This is not new, but it is kind of seasonal sometimes. So I like picking this up. The cookies and cream vanilla bean bonbons. They're this size and they're just good for a little treat or if you want to eat a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a bunch of them. It's not like that bad. For the per container, it's only 630 calories. So 
yeah and then we have my kids love these especially live and they're like the perfect size whole the dairy mini coconut non-dairy frozen dessert cones chocolate ones they're literally like this exact size so which is what it says <laughs> and then we have the oat milk frozen sandwiches yum and then spinach the vegan spinach and cashew ravioli vegan raviolis are hard to come by so yeah so for you, can, you can get them at whole foods but they're pricey and then we have the maple sea salt kettle corn i like popcorn in general but i always pick up at least one of these a season yum and then this oh my god so my husband usually marinates the tofu for me and i was like he made this delicious tofu i don't know what he marinated in it with and it was this i thought it was from like a different grocery store no it was this it was so oh my god delicious so anyway the indian fair kachari yum and then i really like these these seasoned waffle fries they look like chick-fil-a fries crazy. and then soy chorizo you can use that for a bunch of things my beloved sunflower seed i look at the roasted and salted brownless turkey my youngest doesn't like doesn't like mock meat she's never had meat in her life she's 100 percent pure vegan so anyway um she actually likes this and we use it for like tacos and stuff like that it's I think it's really, really yummy. Is it, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but like I like these because you can add whatever flavor you want. We got two of those, and then we love these tortillas so much. They're just so good and fresh. Pizza dough, of course. I got the regular pizza dough, and I got the garlic and herb one, and I got some bars. Liv loves bars. So I got the, the Go Macro bars, the dark chocolate and almonds, the double chocolate and peanut butter chips, the peanut butter and chocolate chip, and then I guess she didn't really, she took a couple bites of this one today, the oatmeal and chocolate chip. And then we tried these, I believe it was either last year or the year before, but I got this big thing of them for like $4.99, the Rambutan, these are fun. They're like kind of like lychees, you open them up and there you go, they're really yummy and sweet. And then the peanut butter caramel coated popcorn, told you guys like popcorn. And then we have some hash browns, we're going to do like a, I don't know, a fancy breakfast that we usually do. Again, with the leaves. And then the Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. My husband said we were out of barbecue sauce, so there's some barbecue sauce. Tea tree oil. I put this in my hair. Helps me with my dry scalp slash, I don't know if it's dandruff or dry scalp or what, but this helps my hair a lot. So that's what I use it for. And then let's get into the frozen meals that my husband takes to lunch. Judge, judge, if, judge if you want, but this is easy for him to take the lunch. So yeah. Anyway, and saves a little bit of money. The kimchi and tofu soup, the Thai green curry. We like spicy food, by the way. The vegan pasta bolognese, the rice cauliflower bowl, vegan tikka masala. I think that's his favorite one, actually. I got two of those. Or my, that might be one from last time. I don't know. Anyway, I got the vegetable pad thai, and that is his frozen meals. And then I got some. I got some impossible chicken nuggets. My kids love those. We love those popcorn i told you guys i love popcorn and then we got the then i got the organic vegetarian chili it's actually vegan i got the fat free refried beans two of those and then two of the organic black beans and then i got three of the vegan brioches i'm giving one to my in-laws and oh yeah and then i look at one of these season two one of the cinnamon brooms the big one it literally fills up your entire house so that is my haul i told you guys it was crazy but that is my haul. Sorry, this video was kind of long, but I had a lot of things. Let me know if you want to see like a taste test. Because some of these are new, but not a lot of them are new. Like we have a couple new things, maybe like five, maybe less than five. I don't know. But let me know if you'd like to see a taste test or more food videos. Anything you want me to review. Any recommendations, let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Help my channel out a lot. And give me a comment for some engagement. So I hope to see you in my next video and have a great day. Bye guys.